Oh, we go again. Hello? Hello? No. Jaden? Are you there? Hello? Can you hear me? Right, it's the right mouse button. It's really gay. The f It lights up when you're talking, so we can we, we don't talk to each other anymore. I'm in the basement. Over. I think I went upstairs. Over. And also that opening cutscene was actually pretty cool. It actually had 3D animation. Very fun. Um, I am seeing currently in front of me what looks to be a coffin with three symbols and a red lever on the side and a rat. Looks kind of like a, a simplified scarecrow. I can rotate it, it looks like. Rotate them, um, as need. I think they'll ever open next door. Okay, uh, I just found out that this time we, uh, grab stuff via left click instead of E, thank god, that's actually an improvement, and also, um, shift makes you run faster. Over. Oh, thank you for the tip, over. I am not scared at all that we're gonna be running. Well, I'm kind of looking at, I feel like I'm like in a bit of like an Egyptian medieval-esque temple t chamber where coffins would be stored. I'm kind of looking at weird ninja looking statues, so I guess there's a bit of Asian stuff going on here too. There's a lot of candles, there's a couple doors that are locked, and there's a couple coffins and some little cubbies that have spikes on the roof of them, which is pretty comforting. Okay, well, is there anything around you that's got like symbols on it? Maybe something that indicates an order of some kind? Roger. Roger, Roger. Um, all the coffins down here do have blood stains on them, but they're just like little handprints. I don't think they're anything of importance, because they're all the same on every coffin. But I will say, this game is very is very much so an improvement from the other one, visually. Oh, 100%. Trey, I found something. <laughs> Trey, I found something. Sorry, sorry, I completely accidentally, um, went of default on settings and everything just blasted in my ears. What did you find? I found a barrel. Big awesome. I have three empty coffins. Over. Okay, big awesome. Over. Are there any symbols near or around that could indicate some sort of order? Yeah, evidently they're right above the spikes, which is comforting. That's awesome. Okay, so we got one. Three legs on the bottom. Um, the weird T-pose that bends up into weird light bulb esque shaped heads. Does it have like diamonds or circles? It's a diamonds. Alrighty, I have that over. What's uh, what's next? One moment, let me walk my fat ass over there. Yes, ma'am. The next one is a hourglass. Alrighty, I'm looking for it right now. Oh. Alright, I got it. Over. The last one is a shockwave in a dress on a boat. Okay, got it over, I'm pulling the lever. That did nothing over? It might be the ones with the caskets? Maybe over? Because there's also three that do have coffins, so maybe you have to fill out the ones that have empty coffins. Over. The stick figure cat from the first one. Looking for it, I'm looking for it. I swear I saw it earlier. Oh wait, hourglass once. Oh! Oh, there's an hourglass in the center one. Okay. Did you find the cat? You did find the cat, yes. This last one is one that we have never seen before. Does it look like a turtle uh, on a stand? No. Um, picture this. Stick figure man has his head stuck in the floor so you can't see his head, but hanging out in between the legs that are kind of curled down. I got it, I got it. Awesome. Did that do anything up there? Because it didn't, I don't think it did anything down here. My door's still locked. Well, maybe rearrange the order. I'm looking at it. Don't think it's the order. I'm trying the first one again. Um, shockwave in a dress, candle thingy, and what was the last one? Hourglass. I'm hearing creepy noises. Sam, the music's kicking up a little bit for me. Ah, oh, what's, um, is there anything else around your room that, like... Ninja monk statues? Okay, is there anything about the statues that could be of importance, maybe? Their hands are out in the air. Other than that, I think it's just a designer thing. There's four candles, ne well, no, five candles next to them, two on the 
left, three on the right, but it's definitely not a puzzle. I just have three coffins down here. That's the only reason I'm thinking. I'm gonna brute force it. Screw it. Um, I can look at the signs closer, but it doesn't do anything. I don't know what to do. I'm a little, I'm a little confused. There's, there's nothing on the coffins. Like, there's just three missing and three there. How about the arrangement? Where, which ones are missing? What area? Because for me, like, I have two, this is kind of like divided in two rooms and there's like a stairs. And there's a longer, bigger room. Uh, go to the door and then on the left of the door is two caskets. And then on the right of the door is another two caskets. And then you go straight up and there's two other caskets after that. So I spawned in, in kind of like a moat. I walk up a sm very small, sm small set of stairs and I come into a pretty open room. I've got two areas on my left and right that are like kind of circular areas with like a dome at the top and we've got chandeliers hanging down of fire and then in the center there's like a little platform I walk up on walk up onto with like fences around it and there's a puzzle machine in the center of it with a lever on the right side and on the left side is just a casket just laying there. I go around, I go down the stairs, I go around the right and the left are the same, I go around the back. Go around the back there's a half there's a half circle part that's got my door that says it is locked. That doesn't give me a lot to work with on my end. I know, I feel like you have the larger part of the puzzle because Sorry, I'm trying to think. Do you have three caskets missing and three caskets there? Are there only six? There is another ca the, another cubby, but the cubby is filled with a locked treasure chest that I cannot click. Find anything yet? Over. Nope. I'm looking for levers. What do levers look like? It's like they're bright and glowing. I might have fucked up the stick figure head in the ground because I have two guys that kind of look like that. So one moment. I did it. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. I see what you mean by- Okay. Okay, did anything advance in your room? I'm seeing a big book. I'm in the main menu screen. Well, I'm not in the main menu screen, but you know that little weird castle door area looking thing that was in the main menu of the game? That's where I'm at right now. I'm in a ritual room, like just straight up, like there's can there's a book, there's candles on the floor around like a pentagram looking thing. I've got two sets of symbols on flags that are really weird and I've just got like it's a bit it's just a really big circular room and then I've got the door. Uh, funny enough I have the same thing except for the pentagram on the floor. Okay, so I have a red and then a blue flag. I have a red and blue flag as well. I've got a book here. I'm, I'm gonna read it out to you. Dear B, I have never been as happy in my life than in the moment I met you, and I am honored to receive your love in exchange. I wish I could be with you forever, and the promise that of your internal love is very thrilling, but the sacrifice is too great. I cannot let you go through with this. I cannot let you destroy that strong, pure heart of yours. I hope you would understand the things I have done to keep you from making this big mistake. I want you to remember me as I was on the summer night in the Rose Gardens. I want you to remember I will always love you, and I want you to remember I will always be with you even if I am not in this earthly world anymore. Love forever, and then the page is torn. I think I'm gonna be reading the replyment letter. Oh no, I got some bad news. Oh no, over? Question mark? I can't read cursive. What? You can't read cursive? I'll try my best. My love for you burnt with a few moments later. The ladder next ladder. I love you forever, B. Demon, 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 demon. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Demon? I looked up. It was in the pentagram while you were reading it, and then I looked up, and there was a, a demon just sitting there, and then he laughed, and uh, 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 it was bad. It was not good, so I don't know what to do. Alrighty then, I'm just gonna keep reading. What do the candle and numbers say? Six candles, and all the candles look slightly different, and they have numbers on them. Okay, that's big pog because I just realized I could light candles in the center. So in the center pe pentagram, I have six candles. They all look slightly different. Then uh, we're gonna have to describe some shit to me on candle wise. Well, it's kind of weird because the there's two can have a one on them, but the but the second one that has a one on them has a has the symbol of a number five on it i think i found the weird symbols you're talking about i found weird symbols on the pentagram 
at the edges kind of pointing towards each candle. Um, so maybe try describing each of the weird symbols in order, and I'll, and I'll uh, try to figure it out. But the weird symbols are just tally marks. Okay, well, try, try describing each candle then, I guess. Or, just tell me, I don't know, are they in a circle at all in any sort of way? Yes, they are in a circle-ish. Okay, perfect. Tell me, like, give me, we'll do north, south, east, west type ordeal. Um, and you tell me what order I gotta light the candles. Right's east. Left is west, okay. South, the south candle is the first candle. Got it, what's the next one? The northeast candle is number two. Got it, what's next? The north candle is number three. Got it. The northwest candle is number four. Got it. The southwest candle is five. Alright, I got it. I'm gonna light the last one. That did not work. All of them just went out. So I'm assuming I gotta go for maybe a different position. Oh shit, the demon's still on the top of the roof. Whoa! Okay, my flags are glowing right now. Oh, the berry too. Okay, yeah, the, I've got flags glowing right now. I also have my flags glowing as well. Okay, awesome. So my blue flag is glowing. Irvy is glowing. Uh, the current picture I'm looking at on my blue flag kind of looks like a scorpion. Okay, I think we both have to match ours because I can click on them. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, so um, so do you have a picture like in your center thing, like 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 a full picture? Where? So on your flag, right? Uh, what I can do is I can combine things to make it look um like an image but i have like a ton of just random shapes so i have to kind of make a scorpion so you have to make what i'm describing to you yes so let's let's start with the tail because these the first three parts are like a tail so so what kind of tail has it got the bottom part of it is kind of like and this is like the bottom part of the flag by the way picture this it curls to the right and has a circle at the end of it. Okay, perfect. So then does it have triangle claws, I guess I would say? No, it has drills for claws. Now does it have a dot in its head or is it just is his head hollow? It's hollow. There's one more thing. There is below the long arms and above the tail. There's a squiggle part, right? I already I had the squiggle part to start with. That was my starting point. Okay, then I'll hush my whore mouth. Now I'm on to the red flag. And I'm starting with the X with the target. I'm starting with like a target piece. That's the bottom part of the flag. What does it look like? This one's a whole lot harder to, to describe. Does it have a line in the center? Uh, the line goes from the X at the, the circled X at the bottom goes up to the top and then a little bit below that eh, the, the top of the line is where we get a U that makes it look like a pitchfork. Okay, is there anything on the shaft of the pitchfork? Like any sort of like decal? Like any, anything strutting out from the bottom of the, on, in, anywhere in between the circle and the U? Go to like a quarter of the way through the line. Done. On the left and right side, they both poke out weird pincers. Oh wait, are the pincers, are they just straight lines, or are they like lines connected, making like two ha two triangle things? No, the pincers are two U's, pretty much two sideways U's or C's that are connecting to this smaller line that connects to the bigger line. That works. But now I've got the pentagram in the middle, and I have symbols on each side of the pentagram. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have eight symbols, all pointing in different directions. We can use up, down, left, right again, because I know which way is up. Yeah, there's just a ton of symbols, and I think I have to click them in a specific order. We're not done with the flag yet. I, I did the flag, it's done for me. That's weird, because there's still parts left. No, I, I, I figured it out. Um, so there's like five different paths I could have gone. I was just, it was just me trying to figure out which path I needed to go, and I figured it out. Okay, I'll believe you.